see what Mem's up to. Bit of water congregating now. Come to see how these uh, blockades are working. Water blockades. There's Mem up here working in the bloody rain. And there you can see it's held it there, so it's all held across there and over there. It's held in here. Not being torrential, well, had quite a bit of heavy but then it's just drizzling on. And Good. So up at this top section here, you can see. Go down on there, yeah. And it's backed up there. She's been digging again, and she's got a bit collected in that next section there. And this is obviously holding right across there and up the other side, which is what was intended. When the water gets higher, then bags are being put there so it will overflow into that next section. So just coming along to this section here, where I uh, put this wooden blockage here and then backside these uh, soil bags, sandbags if you want to call them. And there's a little bit of seepage like but now it's held all that so what's, that's good. Let's go up to this top 
and uh, everything looking healthy on this side, everything uh, shooting up. These uh, trees, these gunman trees are on the way up and here we are, this top section here, it's held firm. Then bags were put in there to stop it breaching through and it succeeded. So yes, you're right, Sean. We have had some sex success with that, which is good. Also, while we're over, over here, look how thick this is turning into. That's uh, thickening out like. So. And this uh, second section of rice, yeah, that's coming on. What what the hell's Mem doing? Well. Apart from digging, she's in there pulling the weed out from the uh, from the rice uh, stalks, and anything where it's thick, and she's weeded it out. She's repl replanting the rice in its place. Never bloody stops. Can it stop? Even in the rain. Then we were over there before and as we noticed it had held there it hadn't broke through this one we never got round to doing but it sort of capped itself there because uh, we haven't done anything with that yet and there's that much soil in this section but maybe a good idea just to leave that She's virtually chock a block, but everything held, everything held. So yeah. Yesterday this is the section Mem was on with. She's weeded a lot out of there. And uh, she's replaced a bit of uh, rice. Put it putting it in uh, that section where that tool is on the ground that was completely filled with weed she's pulled all the weed out and she's replanting with some uh, some rice uh, seedlings Now it's getting to a stage now we need to replace this bloody little bit of plywood here and get some sort of uh, metal work put across. Now this morning after another heavy night of rain as you can see the pool's coming up and Michael's not going in. One, too deep for it, for the start, and too much crap in it. I'll never get it all out. Uh, so, I think I previously said I'll just leave it to Mother Nature. And when we come across uh, the time we can do things, we'll do things. But at the moment, the only thing I will comment about. I ain't seen the two big uh, goldfishes, koi carps, for about two weeks, three weeks now. Mem's never seen them neither, like, so not sure what's going on there. Now, I've had a, a comment, I've had someone ask me, about uh, moving to Thailand and uh, have I any personal advice to give them? Yes. Two main things. Don't come to Thailand without the resources to live. 
like pensions or investments or out like that. Don't even think about it. Don't be like a few chances have come here and tried to uh, make a go of it like. No, not worth the bloody uh, effort and the time and the money. And secondly, do not, do not borrow money of any banks or loan shark or anything that's offered to you. Just do not do it. Hmm, that's all I can say to that uh, subscriber. Mm, too many come to grief with that. Hey!